See, so I, I think it looks like a, a medieval coin. Welcome ladies and gents to another Detective with Dale. Have I got a treat in store for you today? It's not just this field. Obviously I've been on this field a few times. It's basically what I'm using over here. I have swapped the detector. I've put the manticore away, the mine and manticore. And I've gone back to a Technetics G2 Plus. This surfs over the iron on cultivated soil like you wouldn't believe. So I'm gonna be using that machine coupled up with my old gray ghost wired headphones. So let's see what we can get on this lovely field. The soil is settled down a little bit, it's still airlocked. That's the reason I'm gonna use this machine. But Technetics is usually the best on this kind of land. So let's see what we can get. And I'll see you on the first hole. Ladies and gents, just having a quick coffee before we get started. I'm looking forward to today. Really am. Quite excited about going back to the GT Plus. It gave me a lot of nice things back in the day. And uh, Graham unearthed even more. So, so uh, yeah, it's going to be an epic day. Cheers. Right, ladies and gents, second signal. First signal was a, a shotgun shell, but the second signal, I just wanted to show you, is a tiny little tombback button. Probably 1700s that, but the machine is very discreet and it's picking out the little tiny signals like this, so good signs. Let's carry on. Right, ladies and gents, let's do a live one. Let's hit a target here. sound it makes it's probably the best sound I've ever heard when I hit, when I hit a, well I said decent target when I hit a um, desirable target obviously shotgun shells and stuff can still come out sound like that but that's a 42 so we're going to see what that is pinpoint on this is really good as well by the way somewhere down there so far I'm really enjoying the machine that is is a lead bullet but again tiny little thing gives you an idea of what it can find i'm hoping to have some hammers today <laughs> let's carry on right ladies and gents i had an iffy signal it was uh half decent half not too decent it's just there not sure what it is but let's have a look together Don't think I'm gonna know what it is to be honest with you, sir. So, it's a funny shaped piece of I'm not even sure what metal it is to be honest with you. But there you go. It is something, but it's probably nothing special as such. You gotta dig them though. Let's carry on. Right, ladies and gents, this is probably the best thing I've had today so far. Sixty-three in the seventies as well. Let me just pinpoint it. Right, 
Right, let's stick it together. Still in the hole. Let's get a pinpointer on it because it's on the side wall, I think. Pretty deep, actually. Let's get some soil out. It's right down there. Even deeper, so that's eight inches. It's deeper than that. So, the machine's uh, got me some depth there. It's not what we're using it for. We're using it for the cultivated to help us get the signals out of the airlock soil. It's always nice to get a bit of depth as well. Still deeper. Quite gravelly down here, so uh, just be careful. Oh, just some kind of tractor blade. Cut. Ladies and gentlemen, next signal is, well, I'm guessing it's part of a key. What do you reckon? It's snapped off that end. It's got a little knob coming off the bottom of that. I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, it looks, it looks a bit like a key, but who knows? But another little artifact with the G2 Plus. My settings, by the way, are in the um, description of the video, along with the Unearthed UK website where you can get Technetics products from. So uh, have a browse of that. You can even use the uh, Unearthed Partner discount code if you like. And it's not just on Technetics. Have a look on the website and you'll be able to have a full shop and basket with discount. Let's carry on. Ladies and gents, got a stonking signal here. Now it could be iron. Don't forget. This machine is not the latest technology, but the machine is brilliant in what it does and cultivated. So it's gonna pick up some iron along the way, like all machines, but let's just uh, see what this is together. An overload signal of 74, 77. So let's see what that is. down there might even be a shotgun shell where are you there you are all right it's here Yeah, I think it's just a bit of tin or aluminium. But you're going to get that with every machine out there. So uh, it could have been something good. Thought I just wanted to show you the signal. Let's crack on. But remember, these machines are good value for what they are. So uh, and they serve a a huge purpose from what I want to do so uh, it's early days today so we're going to carry on and see what else this machine can pick up 
ladies and gents. It's just the luck of the draw what I film live because uh, so far I've uh, dug about three holes live and it's been not nothing too great. But I've just got an exact same signal, 74. Nice sort of squelchy, nice tone. And I've just dug at about four or five inches. It's just there and it looks a coin shape. It's just the luck of the draw. 74 and a sweet spot signal basically so let's just see what this is I, I think it looks like a, a medieval coin I mean let's just have a look at this it's, the closer I look at it now the more it looks like minimal it looks like a jetton at best it looks like a hammered coin which is exactly what I'm after with this machine today so let's have a look together I think it's a hammered coin I don't want to rub the mud let me zoom in I think that's a hammered coin looks like a grope to me Right, I'm gonna get my squirty bottle out live. Brand new squirty bottle from Unearthed. <laughs> Little plug there. It's got distilled water in it, this has, so uh, this will protect the coin from any chemicals. Just looking to loosen the soil a bit. Yeah, that's a hammer, that's a hammered grout. And I am absolutely over the moon. I asked Graham if I could borrow this machine. It's still quite hard on there. I asked Graham if I could borrow this machine because I was struggling with the manticore on the mineralized soil, airlock mineralized soil. I used to have a GT Plus. And uh, I knew how well it was over cultivated. It's still quite hard mud on there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna soften that up and come back on camera in a minute. But you can start to see the detail on there of that beautiful hammered coin. But that is quite thick on there, so I'll come back to you. I'll stop rabbiting on. I'm just excited. See you in a sec. So ladies and gents, as it quite clearly displays on this uh, finds uh, tub, <laughs> medieval coin, medieval coin. Oh, I'm over the moon. This is a hammered grout, like I said, in absolute good condition. I mean, look at that. King wise, I don't know at the moment. I haven't looked at it close enough to, to have a look, but Probably, I don't know, it might be an Edward III London Mint maybe, but I am not worried about that at the moment. I'm just showing you the beautiful coin that I've just found with this absolute machine. I mean, look, it's not in focus. Try and put it down here. Absolute banger. The Technetics GT Plus doing the business. That car is a 74. Sweet signal. I mean, let's try and give you the signal. Well, that's a bit disjointed, ladies and gents, but. Heard in the ground. 74, 75. And when it was out of the ground, overload signal. So that is what I heard when I heard it in the ground. Absolute stonking signal. I'm over the moon. Let's carry on, see if we can find any more. Ladies and gents, I just noticed on this coin, 
will focus. Yeah, I just noticed on this car, two keys either side of the bust. Um, let's get it the right way. Two keys either side of the neck. I think that would be a Henry the Seventh. I'm pretty sure that might be a Henry the Seventh coin. I might be wrong, but I think I can read Henry on the outside of the coin. So that that is a beautiful medieval coin, or was it be Tudor? Henry the Seventh. Not sure. It's a close one between Tudor and Henry and uh, Medieval. <laughs> oh, still buzzing at the moment. I mean, that's been kicking around this soil. And I've been over it with a manticore. And I'm not saying I've been over this particular sec one spot with a manticore and missed it. But I've been over the section a lot of times recently. And uh, the GT just plucked that straight out, no problem whatsoever. I'm sure the man the call would have done it as well, but that is a beauty. <laughs>
wouldn't have been interested in that if it didn't have the hole in the end so it's a bit like a pick a pickaxe type of thing isn't it if you can shed any light on it let me know but that's definitely something you can see it's definitely been shaped into that very heavy ladies and gents there's something in this big clod can't was a 50. This big clod shot right on the edge here. Bear with me. There it is. Just a bit of copper. Yeah, it used to be something, I think, but. I don't know what you can see there, the copper alloy or whatever it is. We're in amongst the iron. There's quite a lot of iron here, so uh, pulled that out. It's quite pretty, ladies and gents. It's nothing to do with the detector, but it's a bit of oxidised glass, old glass, probably. Might even be chewed a time. Some kind of champagne bottle or wine bottle, maybe. But yeah, it goes to that colour when it gets oxidised. So it's quite nice, pretty. Ladies and gents, I'm not really sure what this is. It's bronze, it's hollow, a bit like a bone. <laughs> but yeah, it's. Uh, a bit of hollow bronze. It does remind me of uh, medieval purse bars, but obviously this isn't a purse bar, but it does remind me of the material that is used. So what do you reckon that is, ladies and gents? Comments, please. I have no clue. You have to excuse the wind, but I've got no signal here. Sweet as a nut. There you go, 60. Very nice signal. So let's get this out. Right, it's an overload signal, so it's out of the hole. Say the hammered went went from a, a nice squidgy signal to being out the whole overloading signal. There it is. Just there. Uh, a bit of wire. It's J. J for jolly good. Idea jolly good day or I don't know <laughs> anyway it's a bit of copper wire that's why it's such a nice signal another live one it's quite solid at 72 out of the hole so let's hope it's a good coin artifact this time oh it's coin shaped just here yes it's quite a nice one as well see that in the light George the Third. Beauty. It's a farthing. George the Third. Late 1700s, I would, I would think. Let me just have a look, see if I see a date. Date at the bottom. There with me, ladies and gents. 
No, I can't read it. There's a date at the bottom there, but I don't read the one at the moment. But there you go, Britannia. Beautiful little coin. 72, I think it was, on the G2 Plus. Weren't going to miss that. But ladies and gents, I won't share what this was until uh, I got it out of the mud. It's a lovely little medieval buckle with a plate on the back. There's the plate. The car was a 72. Give me an overload signal because it was quite near the top. It was sort of laying on the surface, so it gave me an overload signal on the uh, Technetics GT Plus. But that's a nice little buckle and plate. Oh, I'm happy with that. Another score for the G2 Plus. It's doing really well on this cultivated. Another target in the 70s. Came up with a nice, lovely signal. It's just here. I don't know what it is. Might be another buckle. Well, it is. It is a buckle plate. So the G2 Plus is hitting some nice stuff here. It's got three rivets in it. Buckle would have come off the end here. So that's a nice little buckle plate. Medieval again. Lovely. Stick it out here, I think. If you're new here and you want a chance to win this special edition t-shirt please subscribe comment new subscriber in the video comments and also tell me what size you are and you could be picked at random to win this special edition t-shirt